This is Strange Love After Hours. I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Good evening and welcome back to Strains of Live. This is After Hours. I am still Cami Chaos. I know that it's difficult to believe that I haven't completely changed who I am in the last 20-minute uh, break, but I'm still Cami Chaos. And as always, I'm joined by the guy over there behind the desk, Dr. Normal, who's got some exciting news to share with you this evening. Uh, hey, everybody. I, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this right now. Um... <sighs> Are you excited, Kim? Yeah. I'm excited. I can't wait to hear what you have to tell us. Well, um, I'm, uh, I'm uh, about to embark on my own um, career as a writer. Don't you already have enough careers, Dr. Normal? You uh, kind of yes, have like I... a full-time job and then you do this whole podcasting thing, plus you're a musician? Yeah, I've got too much to do. I'm just saying, maybe you could nix something. Well, you know, I'm just um, excited about all these authors and stuff, and I just want to get into the game. You want to be like Michelle? Uh, kind of like Michelle, mm -hmm. but more in a social media guru sort of thing. Well, you're not exactly an expert. What do you have to offer the social media world, dear? Glad you asked. I've actually got back from the publisher right now um a few of these books on social media that uh, i've just written these mm -hmm. uh, proofs these galleys these prototypes you dig when yeah. did you have time to write these books uh last saturday <laughs> <laughs> fair enough let's see them uh yeah it was a holiday so uh, hang on here. that's a As really see, that's a big book a dr normal thick book um, the first book we're doing, if uh, I just want to get that to the camera here, uh, this one's called Social Media Blah Plus Blah Plus Blah Equals Profit by a Social Media <laughs> Expert, Dr. Normal. Do you have to put that title in with your name? Uh, yes, I mean, I does do. it to have to say Social Media when Expert? When you write a book that's this thick, you, you need to... You All need right. To, okay. So you wrote a book. I'm really proud of you. Oh, not just one book. Not just one. Many. It, come on. It's social media. It writes itself. All right. For example. Well, what's the other book? Well, glad you asked. Social media is completely awesome. <laughs> By social media expert, Dr. Normal. Pretty cool, huh? It seems kind of formulaic. Eh, but beats impersonating Robert Wagner, though. <laughs> yeah, that's because you're not a very good Robert Wagner impersonator. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. I was going to try to not mention his name this week. <laughs> anyway, uh, Fail. next one, next one uh, by social expert me is, um, I hope you can see that, Get Off My Social Media Lawn by Social Media Cranky Pants, Dr. Normal. Now you're just ripping stuff off from other people on Twitter. I, you know what? Can I be honest with you? I, I don't know about that cranky pants thing. I need to have a talk with the publisher. All right. All right. Is that the last one? Oh, no. No, there's more. And they're all, you know, pretty thick books yeah they're all starting to look a little similar to me well you know, when you write chapters in 140 characters with lots of white space what do you expect all right all is this right. the last one uh yeah i hope so i hope so no maybe not okay uh next one and i'm very proud of this uh this one's called how to fake friends and influence followers by social media guru dr normal well if you're faking things then how are you being a social media guru uh i think the bigger question is how do i switch this show while i'm doing shtick behind this desk you've always managed to pull that stuff off before i don't know is this the last one uh, wait a minute lower third okay uh 
Last but not least, oh my god, this has gone on for so long. Yeah, it really has. <laughs> this reminds me of bad boy I think scout we're humor dying. at the campfire. Uh, last one is, oh, you can barely read that because it's and it's so heavy and so thick. Um, this one, if you could just see it, social media for fun. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. <laughs> Wait. Social media for fun and profit, but mostly profit by social media guru, Dr. Normal. Mostly profit. Mm-hmm. All right. The theory that chromosomes were the carriers what? of genetic information was strengthened in the early years of the century when it was shown that chromosomes could determine sex in mammals. Yeah, I didn't write that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was your, your book, Dr. Normal. Uh, it is. It's the galley. It should be in there. This somewhere. is a biology book. Oh, is it? Oh. Well, social media. Let's is... open to another page. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Biology. The body's chemical is the original messengers. Social media. Birth, development of the human embryo and fetus at three weeks. Yes. God. Again. You're not allowed to talk for the rest of the show. Okay, again, social media. You know what? The... We have guests. Okay. Okay? So, anyway, no, buy my books no, on the way. No, don't Soon. buy his books. I'll get you. It's a biology book. Unless you need a textbook for college. Ignore him, okay? Let's say hello to our lovely guests. We have got the lovely, the radiant, the graceful Michelle Anderson, media chick, author extraordinaire. (laughs) And the sassy, the clever, the hair flippy, long eyelash having gorgeous assistant, Megan Kate. (laughs) Who also happens to be Megan Kate on Twitter. (laughs) What were we talking about before we let Dr. Normal talk? I don't know. I I, don't whose idea was that? I don't remember. Oh. I was hey, drinking. You're it, buying that book, aren't you? No. No <laughs> one's are. buying your book, Dr. Normal. Like if it, you buy my book, I'll buy your book. Don't buy his oh, book. I like it. <laughs> I'll buy two copies of your book if you just don't buy any of his. <laughs> okay. All right, you're on. All right. <laughs> Should we say hi to our studio audience? Yes. Hi, studio uh, audience. Uh, okay. Are we going to do that now? No, I just thought we'd say hi to them. And <laughs> hi. Be like, hi. We don't have to show them until later. Okay. Because <laughs> right now, I believe we are going to have Megan Kate whip out the oh the printout. Whip it out. Whip it out, baby. Oh. What am I supposed to do with this? You're supposed to open it up to that page that you <laughs> She's highlighted. She's a little nervous. Would you like uh, how to it, fake friends how to and fake, influence yeah, followers? Yeah, I need that immediately. Okay. So what 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 are we doing here? Megan <laughs> is going to read to you from a section of Michelle's. Manuscript. No, <laughs> I'm very serious. <laughs> now we, the Twitter folks, or the Twitter, the, the chat people room. Chat room. people chose this. Who chose this section, Verso? Popular. Fat Boy Roberts. Fat Boy Roberts. It and Dinah Girl agreed. Fat okay. Boy Roberts chose it, and Dinah Girl agreed. All right, excellent. And so, should we? Do you want me to say something about the? Yeah. Why don't you give us a little run up? Do you, you don't want to do it? Do you? You're gonna make me do it. Um, so for those of you that have not been reading The Miracle in July... Shame on you. Shame on you, first of all. Um, secondly... TheMiracleInJuly.com. TheMiracleInJuly.com. Um, in The Miracle in July, there is a character named Michelle. <gasps> what? And <laughs> she, um, through a series of events, meets a gentleman named Daniel, who lives in Denmark, and they carry on a digital love affair. And so the piece that... The fine folks at the chat room chose is from a section called The Mating Game, which um, it was the title song that I actually chose. And um, good choice. It's a good one. It's I know, good one. right? Mm-hmm. And um, so in this piece, the character is getting ready for one of her online dates with Daniel. And I'm, hold on one second. Yeah, drink some of that gin lemonade, baby. I was soap clean, shaved, and naked ten minutes before I was due to meet Daniel in a private instant message conversation. The nine-hour time difference made it a nightmare for, for me and morning sex for Daniel. I spent my extra time making sure the computer program was working, and I updated my avatar to an image of my lips waiting for a kiss. I had no computer, camera, or speakers, or any expectations. I was holed up in my bedroom, fidgeting on fresh sheets, the shower's lingering steam like a fever rising out of my skin. I experiment with where to put my laptop and where I should lay on my bed. Should I lay down? Should I sit up? 
In my memories, I am illuminated by both the blue light from my computer screen and the yellow light from my paraffin candles. I am still too thin and my breasts still droop, but my skin is very soft, touchable, fuckable. I chi <laughs> chime called my anxious roaming thoughts to the computer screen where a text box had appeared. It was asking me to choose. Did I want to accept Daniel's request for a chat? Yes or no? I said yes, unknowingly twisting my fate towards an impossible love. Ever been to Venice? Daniel asked. Ooh. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's all right. All right, let's 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 get some background on the story. Yes? <laughs> Give me the background part. on the story. You see, earlier I asked a really long question, and you were like, that's a really long question. So now I'm just going to say... Let's get some I'm used background. To long questions. So I know. Like, I'd like to babble is there on. More? No, give us some background on the story. This is this is the story of your love affair. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, um, it's pretty much the way it is in the in the story so far. I was uh, I had taken a long break from dating, mm -hmm. and I started uh, dating the um, the Jake person in the story, and we were together for about six months, and. Um, that didn't work out the way that either one of us planned. Um, and when it ended, I found that um, the stress of the relationship that I was in with him, and even though it was a it was a great relationship, it had uh, caused my body a lot of stress. Yeah. And so I lost a lot of weight, a lot of weight, and an unhealthy amount of weight. And um, and it wasn't so much um, that this um, Jake person was not going to be in my life anymore. He's still a really good friend of mine. But I needed a, a distraction. I needed to get healthy again because I wanted to continue dating um, mm -hmm. other people. And But I wasn't ready yet. So I thought that I would um, have a little fun. And so I met um, Daniel through a friend of mine who is Lily in the story. Mm -hmm. And um, that's the that turned into um, love somehow, and mm -hmm. um, that's where we are in the story. So it doesn't always seem like you actually find love when you're trying your damnedest not to. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. There are many conversations between me and the uh, the Danish man about the. Um, imp probable nature of the relationship and how it really was out of our control. Yeah. Do you want to talk about your story anymore? <laughs> <laughs> Do I seem uncomfortable or something to you? Mm, I'm just saying. <laughs> it's not like I can read your posture or anything yeah, or I can see your, you. you know. It's very sexy for those who haven't read it yet. It is very sexy, and I think... Um, that was not even the sexiest passage in the that, book. No. By no. a long shot. I mean, that was sexy, but... Plus, you have birds that poop on a tree. Yeah. Well, in the relationship, I got a lot of good things out of it, like my love of gin and mm -hmm. lemonade, mm -hmm. and um, I discovered that I really enjoyed erotic writing. Mm -hmm. Really enjoyed it. It was... Um, not just for him it was it was also for me and the first time i wrote one just uh, the first time we had a, a date i wasn't really sure what to expect and i didn't expect a story from him we didn't decide we didn't discuss ahead of time what what would happen when i logged on mm -hmm. um, so i wasn't expecting to go to venice Mm -hmm. um, so it was it so impressed me with the the writing so impressed me and I've you know I've read a fair um, amount of erotica and um, I know what I like and his words so impressed me that um, at the end of it you know I wasn't expecting it to ever happen again when he you know wanted to do it again and that I was going to have to write the next one. Mm -hmm. um, it became sort of a competition to write something better than that. And so uh, I think there were eight stories that we wrote um, for each. Mm -hmm. And you now each time, you know, the, they put, Escalated. the bar was raised, you know, and it was, it was a lot of fun to 
be that horny all the time. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, because at first the dates happen like every three or four days. Mm -hmm. So there would be um, a lot of anticipation. And then um, when it was, you know, your turn to write, there would be like, you know, a lot of fantasizing and practicing, maybe is the mm -hmm. word. And um, a lot of uh, um, looking back to the previous dates and trying to pick up on on little personal um likes and dislikes and kind of embed those things and into the story and i think that's probably um a combination of the respect for each other's um writing and the the detail you know going back and taking the time to 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 research i did a lot of research on venice um you, you know i i really made an effort and uh i think that that combination of the effort it kind of made us fall in love so where did you get the cojones to tell this story and be very open about the fact that yeah this is you this is what's going on in a, in a world where things are much more acceptable than they used to be but people still shy away from sex in a very significant way well i'll tell you um <laughs> Let me tell you all about it. Um, <laughs> Let me say. I, I, I think uh, uh, several of the early comments I would get was, you know, ballsy. This mm -hmm. is really ballsy. But I just don't see it as being ballsy or brave. I, I don't see the erotic part of it as being brave. I see it, I, the part that I find brave is that it's you. And it's your story. Yeah. And being that honest about yourself is often very difficult. Yeah. Well, the, the the thing about me is I, I'm the girl at, uh, literally at my father's funeral, I'm cracking jokes about him. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm the one who makes the inappropriate comments, you know, to dispel like, the, the, the pressure, you. you know, the jokes. Um, and so that, this is kind of like that for me. It's, it's like... Uh, it, it, it needed... The story is, for me, when I was trying to come up with um, a way to tell the story. I got I got a lot of comments from people who, like, I have personal friends close to me They were really questioning my sanity, really wanting to know what what the hell are you thinking? Mm -hmm. You know, are you sure you want to do this? And I'm like, well, it doesn't matter if I, if I want to do it. It's like I, I kind of have to do it. And it's a, it's an awesome story. It's a good, it's a good story. It's, it, why should I keep story. it to myself? Um, it's got all of the elements um, that make a good story. And, and I figured, why not? You know, if I wanted to truly follow my bliss, if I really wanted to make a splash, if I really wanted to make a go of, at, of it, as a writer, then why aren't I using every possible avenue, you know, using my social media skills, my writing skills, um, my ideas for, like, the interactivity? Why, why don't I go for it? So I find it very interesting. And then I think we'll move on to more after hours, the after hours. But I think it's very interesting that in the story you're following your bliss, but it's what's led you to tell the story in the first place is to follow what it is that's going to make you happy and what you know you need to do with your life. And I'm, as your friend, I'm very proud of you. And as an out, as an onlooker, I'm odd. Not odd, O-D-D, -D, odd, as in like <laughs> amazing, A-W-E-D. <laughs> Although I do think you're a little odd in a very pleasant sort of way. <laughs> well, I, I, you know, I, I want to prove that, that you can, you know, do something different if you want to be a writer. Yeah. You know, because the game is changing. Um, and also that it's fairly easy to play the game, the new game, make mm -hmm. a new new splash. But also, I, I would love to be a, a, a model, um, a benchmark for how you would go about doing that, which is why I'm always still looking around for a project that looks like mine. Yeah. Um, and I encourage other writers. I have been encouraging other writers. Sometimes they get emails from people who want advice. They have an idea of their own, and you know, yeah. I try to hook them up with the tools and, and the people that they should know and move forward. Because everybody should be following their bliss. Yeah. 
Yay. Yay. Thanks, Sarah. Yay. Yeah. All right, I think we're going to move on, like I said, to more after hours -y. After hours. We'll bring this out. And I bring this out because I noticed on one of your press releases you had a, a Friends of segment, a little section down at the bottom that had several uh, sites, uh, projects, things that, that you considered Friends of the Miracle in July. And Strange of Life was one of them, and I was just like, oh, yeah. Hello. <laughs> and another one was the Get Naked for a Cause calendar. And uh, why am I bringing this up? Why Why is Get Naked for a Cause a friend of a Miracle in July? Well, because I'm in it. <laughs> and I think Exchange Love Live is also in it. Do, 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 do. See, and, and this calendar actually is another reason why I felt like I should do this now because when I was asked to when I was asked to do the calendar, it was almost exactly a year since I, I saw the movie Calendar Girls. <laughs> the calendar girl for the old, you know, oh, yeah. older ladies, oh, yeah. right? I, I, and so I I'm, I'm laying that. on my couch and I'm just sort of wasted. I'm just like <laughs> devastated. But and we should like, note that Aaron Hawk they took this photo. Yes. And and I'm watching this movie and I'm thinking, <laughs> I will never do that. <laughs> never. She's not wearing any shirt. No, That's she's wearing a laptop not. with a pie on it. And it's in oh, July. Yeah. And it's in July. Mm -hmm. She's Coincidence. I, I think. Well, not. see, that's the thing is, I I was asked what month I wanted, and I said July, and that July they thing didn't even was ask the thing me what that month kind I of wanted. Made me I go. just said, yeah, if I can have October. <laughs> you just demand. Uh, I did. I said I want it. Give it to me. Ash. There it is. Oh. oh my. Yeah. Doc you're Normal is the shirt. only fully clothed person <laughs> in the calendar. In all of 2010. <laughs> yeah. I know. Well, that was so, that was awesome. That was, I was like, okay, I'm going to do the calendar and it'll be out next year when I'm trying to write this thing. And it was, an, it was another thing that happened randomly for me to go, well, maybe I'm supposed to be writing the story. Maybe I'm supposed to do this now, right now. I think you are. I'm going to quick shout out if you want the calendar. Go to do something for a cause dot com. It's the 2010 calendar, so it's been out for a while now, but it's not even uh, currently in circulation yet. Or it's in circulation, it's not in use. In use. Thank you, Verso. Perfect. Verso is another one of the lovely calendar people. Highly recommended by Chris Perillo. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I need. I should play that clip. I don't. I don't. No. You don't. Yeah. I need to. What were you saying? You were pointing at your drink earlier. Oh, yeah. Do you need another drink, or is it drink music time? It's uh, drink music time. I have some I have some explaining to do on the drink front. Some explaining. Explain got yourself. some explaining to do. So you tell me when, because we no longer can hear things. It, it's playing. Okay, I'm going to do drinks, and then we're going to do studio audience. So this evening, Cam Chaos is drinking a Dirty Dry nice. Aviation Gin Martini. That's local. Lo local. It's local. local. Uh, Media local. Chick is drinking. Oh, Megan, Kate, Media Chick, and Verso as well are all oh, drinking okay. uh, lemonade gin, aviation, and Odwella lemonade. Mm -hmm. Now, Delicious. the three of us were going to be drinking pink squirrels. I bought all of the ingredients for the pink squirrels. I mixed a batch of pink squirrels earlier this evening before anyone came over, and I tasted it and I said, it tastes like bad chocolate. So I made Dr. Normal taste it, because if something tastes bad, of course you take it to your husband and you make him taste oh, it too, right? That's what they say. Yeah, you I'm say you say Dr. Normal taste this. Terrible. And you know, I pride myself on my Sucked. my mixology. So I wasn't going to serve something to my ladies that I could not approve of. So I took it to Dr. Normal and he said it tastes like bad chocolate. It tasted terrible. It had too much chocolate. So I changed the recipe that I found repeatedly on the internet. And I made a second batch. The second batch was better. I didn't have the first one, but... Yeah, it was better. It was. <laughs> trust me, she says, trust me. <laughs> trust me, it was better. And I made my ladies here taste. And we all had our little sip. We split it in four. Mm -hmm. Yeah? I shot it. Yeah, yeah you shot it. <laughs> and, you know, 
we decided that we should have drinks we enjoy. I, but the, I don't think that the second batch was bad, but it was not something I had to drink an entire cocktail so it sucked. of. Right. No, it didn't suck. It was really so, thick and creamy. Yeah, it was thick. Some of us are drinking dirty, dry. You're not drinking a dirty. Dr. Oh, Normal I'm has a dry, dry aviation yeah. gin martini. Aviation dirty. gin. Uh, yeah, Megan Kate room, said no dirty. Yeah. In the chat room, oh, Fat Boy Roberts recommends New Amsterdam. As well, is it a gin? Mm-hmm. I guess so. Well, what is Fat Boy Roberts drinking? Just I don't wondering. know. We'll find out. Let's go. Over Let's to the find out what audience. the hang on, everybody. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> That's them. Yay! Hi, studio audience. Hi, everybody. Hey. <laughs> there they are. They even have a monitor where they can see yeah, themselves. They can see themselves <laughs> waving at their family. Okay, okay everybody there. make the dumb ham on TV face. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so to stop yeah, normal so, have the studio. You're at the square. You guys are so mature. <laughs> <laughs> you're at the square. Do, do you have the audience mic on? Honey? Yes. Okay, so everyone go ahead and tell what you're drinking. Water. Water. <laughs> 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 water. Yeah. Here's to water. Scott's a little sleepy. Portland has some of the best water, water yes. in the nation. Tap water. That, that came from our Bold water dispenser. I'm Mormon. So I finally got the Japanese in the chat room band. I'm very excited. Sorry. What else are you people drinking? Okay. I'm drinking a vodka martini. Vodka, dirty, dry ma- dirty, uh, vodka. Dirty, very dirty. Thank you, Cammy. You're welcome. I'm drinking vodka. a... Well, I was drinking... <laughs> oh. A very dirty gin martini. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What if you had a dirty... Um, what is that thing? Pink squirrel. Keyword. I would not have a dirty pink squirrel. <laughs> you do not want to put olive juice in a pink squirrel. No, I was Ew. thinking. I was thinking along the uh, uh, dirty pink squirrel along the uh, Clarence <laughs> Thomas line. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Steve, what they were you what drinking? Um, you wait, what? Also on empty? It was a dirty dry, but my cup runneth dry. Oh. 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 He was all rainy. Are we having no pity because the cup is empty? Pity! <laughs> 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 in the back row. So I should not They're pity you that your cup is dry? Yeah, 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 the timber's no. lost. Yeah, but Too I bad. know, I know. Sad. Sad. Too bad. They'll be back. They'll kick they someone's they ass next rise. time. So <laughs> <laughs> oh my Alright, what else we got? Anything? That was an angry oh, purr. So yeah, so. No, I'm drinking the gin and lemonade of... Gin and juice. The gin, and, gin and lemonade of virgins. <laughs> of a thousand truths! <laughs> Does everyone want to share their Twitter name? Todd is we all want to share Twitter names now? The elixir of virgins! Let's have the, let's have the studio audience share their Twitter names so they can be found on the Twitter. Okay. Go. Go. Twitter name. Me? Start okay. with you. I'm Verso. Mm. <laughs> to you. Do you not know your Twitter name, baby? Oh, my name. She's, she's oh, off. Morning. <laughs> Morgan P. <laughs> Thank you. This I'm, is. I'm Ms. D. Yeah, she's not Morgan PDX. She's Ms. D. She's just helping Morgan and PDX. She's, she's usually. Apparently, D. Morgan's gonna sleep on my couch. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. D, wait. Tell yep. them what Ms. D does normally on a Friday night. Oh my gosh! Oh, Saturday night, on Saturday On Saturdays, you're wrong. But oh. she's the KJ at the Penguin. <laughs> the Penguin. Right down the street. Yeah. <laughs> and not only are we in my hood, she she's in her hood as well. Okay. Lovely. Are you on? Are you on the Twitter? I have no Twitter name. <gasps> oh my oh my no! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I. Those are big words. <laughs> yes, I'm. A, I'm wow. a social media shot in. <laughs> like seriously? Like no, no, seriously? We've, we've had, no, we've had no. We've had another person in the. Oh, we've had another sorry. person in the room oh, without a Twitter name oh. before. Oh. It's sorry, true. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. feel bad about it. It's okay. Oh, wait, oh no. Can we make him get a Twitter account now? <laughs> I think we should. Yeah. Okay, yeah, somebody wait, wait, get him signed up. You Hang got on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. All right. Let me, let me explain the rules. <laughs> what Allie, happens hey, here... Allie got a Twitter account yeah, when she was here. I know. I'm here. explaining the rules. All right. What happens here Hi, is Allie. if you show up and you don't have a Twitter account, you, you will one. leave with the Twitter account. <laughs> We're enablers. So, Seriously. Because um, Kelly beats you to It's for your own good, Steve. So that's going to be worth it. I'm sorry. <laughs> look, but look, you're strange, maybe even crazy, yeah. but there's never a dull moment. And so now we will have a Twitter account. Do we have called? a name for those who are yet to be on I, Twitter now? I read his shirt, just so you know. That was not like some brilliant quote yeah, on my part. Shirt. I was reading was, his shirt. It was from Lock It To You. 
We've determined that if you're not yet on Twitter, that makes you 1.0 oh no. <laughs> 1.0 oh no. Oh, Can I tell you, yes. Dr. Normal's Wait, writing before, a new book. Yeah, 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 no, no, here. <laughs> I, I'm going oh to no. give him <laughs> some of my, my books. Which some of your books. How yeah. to your fake books. friends and know. influence followers. I was looking at myself on the monitor. Oh, I'm sad. I was. And I looked at him like, why am I seeing this out of my head? Because I'm looking at myself now. My social media guru, <laughs> Dr. Normal. So we'll, we'll be oh sending you home with those. We're Morgan <laughs> is currently getting him signed up with a Twitter account. Of course. I don't know if he'll use it. I'll make him Ooh, use it. Taken. <laughs> oh, his what, what preferred they, name was taken. Get? Damn it. What'd you guys try to get? What you know, when you wait. Wait. I think I might have drunkenly signed up. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I need to actually. You may have drunkenly. He may have drunkenly signed, signed up for a Twitter account if at I some point. Do you know how many times I've drunkenly signed up? For actually, a when we were you setting up, drunkenly try and guess what your password was. <laughs> When yeah, I was wait, like, drink the yeah. rest of my martini, and maybe you'll be no, in the right state of my memory. Oh. 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 oh, well, why would it be PD? Oh, why is he Washington D.C. Yeah, people stealing our PDX? That, that would. Okay, it's a free for all. Clearly. We have the no, see, look. Uh, the audience occupied right, the audience now, is which is going to take care of the the Twitter. Don't yeah, deal it's our secret you. little plan. We get the audience occupied. They're working say on Twitter. That when we were setting up our Miracle in July email mm-hmm. situation, I, guess. That's I tried to set up a okay. Gmail account, and I was like, "Oh, that's weird, that Michelle. Works. The Miracle in July at Gmail dot com is already set up. This is oh, odd." Yes. And she said, "Well." <laughs> I was drunk when I did that. I don't remember the password. <laughs> so we had to have the Miracle in July intern at gmail.com. If you have any comments, That's questions. right. There were some dark days, all right? <laughs> I understand. Do you have any idea how many Gmail accounts I have? <laughs> I'm just saying. Do you remember the passwords of no. them? No. Well, okay, and good, I always try to do them along a theme, and sometimes I can't remember, but let's just say I've done my fair share of land grabbing on the Gmail front. Because camichaos at gmail.com is not fucking me. I'm just saying. What? No, you, if you email camichaos at gmail.com or even cami.chaos at gmail.com, someone else. It's too rosy. No. It's, <laughs> Scott is right. It's probably my arch nemesis, Rick Tarosi, stealing my Gmail account. Uh, I blame That's Nate just Angel. like him. He's oh, shifty eyed. Or Halotol. So, uh, it's been a long time since I've mocked Holodal on the show. Let's yeah. let's. I'm, I'm up for a good Holodal mocking. Don't make me do a Kissinger impression. <laughs> no, he would like that. We want to uh, hurt be, him, not help him. Wait a minute. Him. Before we're done here, poop jokes offend him. Ooh, poop jokes offend him. Uh-huh. Okay, we'll get we'll get yeah. to poop jokes yeah. in the yeah. next segment. Oh, but <laughs> sorry, sorry, I love Nate. saying I that. Yeah. We'll get to poop jokes in the next segment. Dr. Now, Normal. what I want to do is I was going to bring in the chat room because I am a. <laughs> A social media, media guru. You're a social media guru who's going to spill right. his gin martini. And yeah. um, I Priority wanted to plan. say who in the chat room was drinking what. Oh, um, I want to know. Oh, yeah. Well, I think Sam LaRoe somewhere in here was drinking whiskey on the rocks. Okay. I think. Okay. And Fat Boy Roberts was drinking something. And well, I wish I Danny Girl tell was drinking us? something fruity with rum and vodka. Sam LaRoe's Sounds great. Bourbon. Bourbon on the rocks. So Bourbon on the rocks. Drinking? What is Fat Boy drinking? Uh, Where'd he go? Is he yeah, still there? Um, Sailor Jerry's and Coke. Oh, Sailor Jerry's. What was it? Sailor, Sailor, Sailor Jerry's and Sailor, Coke. Sailor, Sailor, Which is the rum. Jerry's. You know, he reports to Captain Morgan. Uh, <laughs> that would be me. There's lots of rum. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Morgan. Right, Why didn't you get that nice. Twitter name? Oh, I yeah. should. Get it now. Get it quick. Go, go, go. Sorry, sorry. I just got really excited for a moment with my friend over there. Morgan is trying to get Captain Morgan. I'm guessing it's taken. Uh, just I would guess. Maybe. Captain Morgan PDX? No, yeah. it's worth a shot. You never know. That's sure. right. Your first name. All right, Captain well, Morgan. that's pretty much the show. We'll see you all later. Thank you very much. Good night, everybody. Um, look, my olives. Yeah. Boobs. <laughs> It's, I they look like boobs. Do do they do. 
Does anyone have um, poop jokes to offend Halodal? <laughs> oh, that's right. We're, we're going to do poop jokes. Poop jokes. Well, I was talking about German, a muffin so. that I was eating <laughs> yeah. the other day that had a lot of flax in it. And then, it, you know, uh, they, and they help oh. regulate your system. I know. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You know, and he that's compared, cool. he said, he said something about. Uh, Jarvatron and too much information. Hi, Jarvatron. I know, and I was like, thank you, what a compliment. (laughs) Yeah, anytime anytime someone compares you to Jarvatron, it's a compliment. Oh, it's a compliment. Hell yeah. Yeah. It's great. Absolutely. Yeah. He was spiffy last night. I have to say, so I walk in. We went to entertainment for people last night. And by we, I don't mean me and Dr. Normal because he had to take the kids somewhere. Um, (laughs) So I took Morgan instead. And you actually walked in and saw me. I walked in and I saw you and I saw Storymaker Upper. And then when I got past the two of you, I was like, I don't know anybody. Which is completely not true. Because I can't walk into a back fence event and not know anybody. Because there's always people there that I know. But I did. I had that moment of, I don't know anybody. And then this handsome gentleman in a crisp collared white shirt that had obviously been ironed. And was very, very nice. Walked up to me and I was very confused. (laughs) <laughs> and this, I was like, this who is this man? handsome gentleman in the crisp white shirt? Holy shit, that's Aaron! <laughs> what are you doing here in the crisp white shirt? Okay. That's all I've got. But back, a... back to poop jokes. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> because I'm going because to, Aaron will appreciate that. Because He's I'm going to be the chat room. You know, I'm going to be the chat room troll okay, for wait. my own show. Aaron, so I'm Aaron you look jokes. really nice last night. Now we okay. do poop jokes. You look great, Aaron. <laughs> you look great. Now to poop jokes. Um, so I googled poop jokes. So poop jokes, humor, oh pooping, God. stories, funny, free, bathroom jokes. Oh dot com slash poop slash index dot htm. Bathroom jokes, funny, toilet stories, poop, farting, pooping, story. <laughs> Poop joke, so and there's a little video. Oh, let's oh, click on the other no. video. No, it looks like Lego people. Let's see what we got. Oh, got Lego people God. pooping? I don't know how I feel about yeah. this. <clears throat> I gotta see I'm Lego intrigued. I need to see the Lego people pooping. I'm sorry, I have to see it. Does Steve have a Twitter account? She does now, and he's following everybody here. His Twitter account is called Poop Jokes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's have a moment of quiet so I can watch the Lego I poop. I see it. If you at Poop Jokes. Let's Has go anyone over and seen see Sloches? Let's go see it. Sloches is, is... I can't move because I Oh, look. It's a little, little guy on the... It's a little guy on a Lego couch, and he's turning his head back and forth, <laughs> okay. and he's got a newspaper. Okay. I'm, I'm imitating it for you guys in case you can see it. I see it. Uh oh, he's gotta go. Oh, he's, he's holding oh, his no. phone. He's holding his phone. Oh, oh my not. god, I wish somebody was on. taving camera. Right. <laughs> no, this is ridiculous. <laughs> There's, so... There's a plumber. There's a plumber. What, he's... what are they doing? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Why are we going to be taving the chair? Yes. And okay, now guys. there's the earth. Oh. Suddenly there's the weather I, I, I think. Watch. I think we need audio for this. <laughs> Go back to your chair. I like it better with that. That's kind of. Go I was to trying to watch the poop. Well, it was, like totally there, it was, it was a, obviously some sort of yeah, negative joking more, going on. You know. All right. Well, well I have a more important see the question than poop Australian jokes. Australian culture hour. I don't see Wait, bar, jar. bar jars. No, we're not having bar jars time. I have an important <laughs> question. About poop? <laughs> no. Probably. Um, I don't. I don't think it's about poop, but I could be wrong. Okay. Okay. Because I have no knowledge. Have I mentioned I am German? I understand. <laughs> Can I can I tell the story of the Rouladen and the first family dinner I had with yeah, your family? Yeah, that's a funny one. And Go. then I'll get to my question. So the first time I had a family dinner with uh, Dr. Normal's German-German family, they served Rouladen, which if you don't know what Rouladen is, if you're not a vegetarian, oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> However, it looks like poop in gravy. It's delicious. It's meat with bacon inside of it and more meat, and it's all rolled up in a roll with, like, this German gravy on it, and it's amazing. But it looks like poop. So I'm sitting there trying to figure out how to eat this, and Dr. Normal is sitting on one side of me, and his grandmother is sitting on the other. Oma. May, yeah. may she okay. rest in peace. We just lost her. We love her very much. <laughs> um, <laughs> that just makes it even better, doesn't it? <laughs> Dr. Normal's sitting on one side of me, and he, he's telling me to just go ahead and eat it. It's really good, honey. And he's got his hand on my thigh, and he's squeezing my thigh. And on the other side of me, his grandmother, who just made the Rouladen, is grabbing my other thigh and going, Oh, honey, it's so nice. You like it so much. 
I did. But it eat the poop, like... Cammy. Eat the poop. <laughs> I did love it, but it still looks like poop. <laughs> it looks totally like poop. It looks yeah. like poop. <laughs> Most There's German food poop. looks like poop. It does not taste really, like poop. It's true. But it looks like poop. This has gone on for a longer period of time than I anticipated. <laughs> I will have everyone know. I didn't think the poop situation <laughs> would happen for this many minutes. I had to end it. Right into a situation. It's, it's a situation. I had to end it on poop. Right. Poops. right. Poops. But we're done now. Wait because I need. brought up poop? Let's get the poops in. The German. Oh, it was, it was it was Michelle. <laughs> it's author and literary dynamo. Oh, uh, literary dynamo. I kind of. Yeah, right. Yes. Yeah, it's okay. I still giggle whenever someone says doing it or poop. So you or so area. You, or area. <laughs> oh, area. Or wait, oh, or you know what? This is wrong. It's wrong, but anytime someone says Putin, I <laughs> uh, there goes the Russian fans. <laughs> <laughs> and I totally lose it and I can't stop laughing. But no, I have a really serious and important question. All right. That Could I need you to imagine what they me. said in, in in Russia when they said Bush? I don't know. I You know what? I wish I could laugh at Bush, but it's no longer funny. No. <laughs> okay, everyone, serious. Be oh, serious face, you guys. <laughs> oh, I'm God. Really Megan's serious. got a great serious face. I know, right? Holy crap. Jeez. That's good. Except for when you do the That's eyebrow hot. lift. That's and like then a it's hot like, serious And then it's not face. serious. Yeah. Then it's just yeah. like. Uh, yeah, already loves. Next time no, you read that segment, that. make sure you do this like while I read the segment that. next time. No, she did. No, she, she, do you know? Like, like she raised her eyebrow at least four times when she read that paragraph. You're welcome. I was watching. I was like, who is she? Well, it's on the other side of your face. I didn't. Yeah, no, it's always that one. You can't. No. Let's. We need to work on that. I can't. Wait, do why both. are we doing? Do doing <laughs> we've got like a. We've got um, blood. Heckler? What? True blood. We've got true blood going on in the studio audience. I heard Scott did his suck it. Suck it. Suck it. <laughs> Do it for Scott. Scott. You're so oh, ridiculous. I love Scott. <laughs> oh, God. How can you not? Okay. No, you can <laughs> there we well, go. Well, I guess, you know, if we had to make a list of. Oh, my God. Why does the poop bother you so much? It's okay. Water means I poured him a giant glass of gin. I was in the bathroom with Chuck Todd. I thought this was the No Impressions episode. I'm working on it. Oh, Scott. You know, Scott was up in the kitchen with me and I was making drinks. And he wanted balloons. He was like, I want. Oh, I hope yeah, he does balloons. balloons. Do you think he'll do what balloons? What are you doing? I love balloons. That was balloons the, are pretty. Balloons. Oh. Oh. That was like the best day of my life when Scott Scott was actually the one that oh, told me. Oh, it was me the balloon episode was also you, your birthday. Yeah, that was Scott was the one that told me you guys gave me a shout out on my birthday because I missed it because I was out getting drunk with her. Yeah, <laughs> and, like you do on your birthday. It was, it was my birthday, and um, Scott was like, "Oh yeah, did you ever watch that the Strange Little Live episode when they?" She, like gave you a shout out and I was like no and then I watched it and there were balloons and I was all by myself in my apartment like Ooh. we had a freaking Megan Kate party <laughs> it was like, like two weeks Megan later and I was Kate's like birthday. Megan Kate like a month ago oh yeah. yeah it was hey good. Megan guess yeah. what What's watch that? balloons I can do do yeah. it yeah do it for Are we me. doing balloons? I can do, do it. it no, 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 no. Fireworks? No. <laughs> no. Exactly. I don't know. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Boom goes the dynamite. I feel Boom. so important right now. I don't think I've ever felt more important in my entire life. We like to make wow, people feel statement. special. Yeah. That's right. Wow. Yeah. All right. This isn't the defining moment in my life. I need you yeah. to become watching. even more important until, and explain until something tomorrow. to me. Until, <laughs> until tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> like tomorrow morning. afternoon. I pride myself on being a woman who understands the hashtag. Right. Yeah. I understand them. I love the really long hashtags. Right. That are very tweet specific. You only right. use them once. They're disposable. I love the hashtags. I think right. hashtags As are beautiful. I. <laughs> and I understand most of them. I know. I know where you're leading, but go go forth. You know what bugs me what though? What the about fuck hashtags? is a furball? <laughs> <laughs> what are furballs? I like. I'm like. I have this I have, like deep, deep answer. need to use furballs, right. but I can't use a hashtag that I don't understand. And right. I've wanted to furballs. Right. So Shut it. She'll times. tell us. 
Wait a minute, Furbles. wait a minute. Is it furries? Is Furbles. it furries? That's, that's a different hashtag I use. Okay. Furbles. <laughs> oh. um, <laughs> I need furbles. Um, so, <laughs> furble size nice her. Nice close up. <laughs> I, yeah. I, ew. Um, <laughs> I, so, um, my was dear it a close friend, up on the boobies? Is that what was we it? Had? Is that what you did to me? Because no, it was, was a close a... up on the cha cha. Oh. Yeah, it was nice. Um, Every time she does it, it's close up, right? It's perfect. She genius. does it so well. I, she does it really well. The eyebrow well, thing and the. And she the list <laughs> the list of things that are wonderful about Megan is the I, oh is this turning into about me? It wow. was a can. Okay, oh, okay, so wait yeah, Verso so doesn't know either. <laughs> she needs boom, boom. boom. Miss D looks confused as well. So What's my a purple? Okay, a purple? I'm sorry. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Stop asking me and I'll tell you. One more. Roller coaster. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see a roller coaster. I, didn't, I missed it. Do it again. We didn't see it. <laughs> that was great. Right. Um, so my that dear was friend, like the, the David Letterman, <laughs> the David Letterman thing. Like, yeah. um, <laughs> my dear friend <laughs> Kyla on the Twitters. Hi Kyla, who Kyla, I met for three seconds. I love you. So Kyla is actually the first person that had me be her intern. The reason that people call me intern Megan is because of Kyla, mm -hmm. Kyla and Melissa Lyons. So I owe everything to Kyla. To for your internness. Everything, yes, to Kyla. She's also my backbone. Um, she, it started one day, she was talking about, she has lots of animals, and she was talking about... Is she Dr. Doolittle? She, they flock to her, so mm -hmm. it could be. They what? I'm sorry. They, animals flock, flock to oh, her. Oh, flock. 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 Thank you. I, you weren't listening. You weren't listening oh. to me, Doc. Um, no, he doesn't listen a lot. I noticed. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's, he's a boy. A I noticed. He's not, that's not his key <laughs> No, it's not his key skill. Trait. No. Um, anyway, she was talking about how she has, like, you know, like, animals' hairs, like, fused together, and they look like little fur balls, and it turned into fur balls. Um. And so then now it's become a cuss word. Oh, so um, my which, yeah, animal my fur best friend be. in the entire world, Story Maker Upper, and I use it as a cuss word regularly. So we'll just be like, "Oh, furballs," and it's just become it so really can mean an anything. I can say it it's whenever I want anything. to. Anything. As soon as I'm done with the show, for no reason. <laughs> as soon as I'm done with tonight's show, F U R B L E S. B -L -E -S. Yes. And I sometimes just to say it the same thing and sometimes I'll just stick it at the end of a tweet for no real reason. All right, so I can hashtag anything. Yeah, like furbles. I'll be like, I mean spaghettios, furbles, like at the end, just why not? Is it like really? a dust bunny? Yeah, kind of. And I have some. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, she, she carries a furbel. I in her carry, so wrong. you know, those little some... like felt. Um, they're like pom poms. They yes, call them at the craft have, store. I have a child. We have yeah. like a billion. So of them. we those went to one of those. Um, it's a terrible movie that Will Raddick put together, and Fatboy Roberts was hey, there. Hey, we're gonna have we're gonna have Will on next month to talk about it. it's a terrible movie. Good. Good. About the next awesome. one. So Fatboy yeah. Roberts was lovely. Awesome. He did the first one, and then the last one that they did, um, Kyla and um, Scott were there doing the commentation. Is that that's not a word? Um, but we had furballs. We had a bunch of those pom. They were we had a bunch of pom poms, and we kept throwing them and yelling furballs at the screen. And we hit from you. And yeah, and then yeah, I left to go to the bathroom, mm -hmm. and it's a terrible movie. And I come back, and everybody was gone. <laughs> so I just stretched out on the seats, and, and then everybody got. Beers. And I started drinking <laughs> beer, and then everybody got mad and came back out. So it's a terrible movie. It's great. It was, I hope to. It was. I hope to go to those kinds of things when I get to my hiatus. Yeah. Yes. Like I hope know. to go to those so kinds of things Michelle someday to things. when I'm not insane. You can go to them now. I think it'll. Power brunches. When's the next? So, I was invited to the next power brunch. Thank you, because I should have been invited way sooner. Yeah, I know. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I am aware. Furbles. Furbles. <laughs> Did you guys ever pick a date? Did you guys? I don't have to know the date right now. You just tell me later. Did you get pick a date for the next power brunch? Um, I'm not in charge of the power brunch. That's Scott and other Scott, people. Scott, are you in charge of the power uh, brunch? It's a loose federation of Kyla, Melissa Lyon, myself, and Tara Dublin Rocks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And did you guys pick a date yet? Yeah, don't you know, uh, it's a secret thing. We don't want to tell everybody. It, <laughs> if it, you're it, supposed looking, to go, you'll know. If you're supposed to go, they tell you. <laughs> they tell you. I was told. I was told I have to be there. Yeah, we, we're Ooh. looking towards the end of September at the Ten Shed. Are we talking about a weekday or a weekend? Uh, most likely it will be a weekday. That's good, because that's when my child, Yeah, she's at the school. Right. Will there be furbles there? Uh, there yeah, we'll probably yeah. be furbles Always consumed. furbles. Yeah. Uh, no, Ooh. I will not consume we will any eat furbles. Some furbles. Well, that, it's a drink. 
Oh, I will consume. I will consume a purple then. No, I'm, I'm going to buy everybody mimosas or whatever. Okay. As well, so. Do they have pinosas? Have you ever had a pinosas? Who's that? Are you oh making my. that up? You're making that I'm up. I am not making up the pinosa. What is that? I've never heard of that. So you, know, you know what I mean? Yeah. What, what is it? This is like furbles all Champagne over again. Champagne the... and pineapple juice instead of orange juice. Oh, oh my god. I'm excited about it. We will it. have them together, sweetie. The, the, you guys have that on tape, right? They're, they're like, that's amazing. saved. People will know oh, that she just said that we're going to have them together. We will have yeah, them. I, Byron Beck was supposed to be at the first one, but he showed up a day late. Oh, and Byron Dollar Beck. short. <laughs> it was, he got a little confused. Oh, but, Byron Beck. Uh, so we're going to have him and... Uh, It'll be great. Media check. Any, everybody is invited. You Where's Name Dropper? too. <laughs> Who's name dropper? Where's name dropper? Where is he? Can I say He's something about? Can I say something about tonight's show? Please, please do. It's all a mess. Been, no, I mean it's I just a, want everyone classic. to look at the hair. I think my hair is doing good things tonight. Mm-hmm. I know that their hair is doing good well, things. Well, you're touching it horrible. Dude, it's shiny and and it's. I just today is the first day I looked at it and went, oh, my hair is getting long. Oh, I missed them mm-hmm. touching missed, their hair. Oh, do you want us to yeah. touch yeah. it again? Long, touch long. it. Touch it. Yes, touch the hair. There, that's happening. You're on the couch. I remember that Soderbergh's first film, Sex Lies in Videotapes. Mm-hmm. We can, you know. <laughs> do I have a casting couch? Do I get to oh. have people on my you casting couch? You do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is, turning, this is turning into something entirely different. we got like three like or it. four cameras here. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, normally I try to explain to people, yeah. no, Strange of Life, now what it sounds like. No, it's, like, <laughs> it's a tech show. It's turning yeah. into it right we now. We just have technology right and stuff. It's all uh, good. It's it's very bow. innocent. Yeah, right. Not right. tonight. No. Turning bow. into bow. it. Bow. Okay. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, any more poop jokes? Um, <laughs> hey, does anyone result? know what time we started after hours? I don't even yeah, know. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> keeping the time. Can I have like a... But I need to know, like, what's my... In nine. Nine minutes? Yeah. Wow. Mm. Yeah, and I'm ready for the air conditioner. I'm hotter than hell. It's hot. Is it pooping here? It's hot. It's just, <laughs> no, it's just, it is not It's like pooping 95 here. degrees. <laughs> There's no poop in this room. There's no bathroom here. There's just just the poop in the you guys. New book oh, by Dr. Sex. Normal. Nobody poops. <laughs> What's wrong with these people? What's so wrong so with so these so people? It's the water. Entirely new it's, the water. it's the water. It's the water. You the brought water. out the Rokon. We <laughs> all <laughs> went wrong. Is anybody even talking in the chat room or have they given up? I, I <laughs> You know what? You know what I want? I'm just going to... It's the only point. I'm just going to start getting up. And what? Where are you going? <laughs> okay. Oh! oh. 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 Yeah, like, I'm really oh. ready. Someone? Yeah. Someone? Yeah. I would go. Okay. Yeah. Um, I was like, you first, of all, first of all, first of all, let me let me make this clear. Do you guys know how to? Scott, did you get the battery connected? Uh, Wait a minute. Time out, everybody. I'm a social media guru. Oh, because right. it said so right, right, right here. Right, right. Secondly, we need to do rehearsals for this damn show. Because yeah. you know what? If we did rehearsals, happen. it wouldn't be as funny. Well, just, <laughs> not not I'm just saying so to you. Um, I wow, don't have, I don't have Who one. Who wore this last time? It's freaking tiny. Oh my, jeez. <coughs> it wouldn't be more alive. Did we put this on a kid? Might have been me. Was it on a child? Is your head really you tiny? Have a tiny head? I have a tiny head. I don't have one. I look you out of sorts. You have a lot of, of hair, so it doesn't look like Do your head is tiny. <laughs> 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 You look, look at you with the right jaunty right angle over there. Yeah. <laughs> you can stick it She's on there if you want to. All right. So, stick it somewhere so this is the second generation of the Helmut can because the first edition of the Helmut can had my naked ass on it. Because then I can <laughs> 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 I have no Helmut can. No, it was great. Bravo. Helmut can 1.0. Yeah, it was my naked. To be fair, I was wearing a thong, so I wasn't completely naked. I was wearing these awesome three and a half inch heels. Naked. And my back tattoo. Yeah, it was the back of Cami wearing. All right. Yes. And, a, and, your a, and a white wig. Which one's on? Who's on? <laughs> Number two. I saw that. That's is oh, that oh, oh, Scott. Oh, Scott. Oh, Scott. Oh, That's so cool. Hi, Scott. Yeah. Oh, it's just a lot of bells and whistles. <laughs> a lot of hashtagging. Oh, I want my own. No, no, no. Is it Megan? Are you on? That was it, me. No, it's still Scott. Scott's just looking. Oh, oh, my God. Still Scott. They're having fun in the audience. 
I have no idea what that looks like. I've, I've lost the show. It's, it's lost. This is so. it. You didn't lose it. You, you gave it to show. us. There's a show called Lost. How do you yeah. not know better, expert? That's what's been happening out there. So much stuff that I have. Can I have the helmet? Can, can, I, can my helmet can be on? I learned it by watching you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I learned it by watching you. Oh, crotch oh. cam. Oh. 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 oh, Jesus. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. They are troublemakers. Balloons! The Trouble? Has died. No balloons for you. <gasps> Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Who's? Okay. I don't talk about so, you guys. Is this mine? Is it me? Oh. I think it's me. No, I think it's Cam. Hi, yeah, Mr. Normal. Sammy. How are you? Cam. Hello, ladies. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh. This is important. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> I can't see where I'm at. Up a little. Up a little. Up, 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 up. Tell me where I'm going. Up, 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 up. There you go. Alicia. Lead in, Cam. Walk it to up, you. Up, up. This episode, <laughs> I'm watching. Oh, I hope my mom's watching. <laughs> um, Megan's mom, your daughter is a beautiful, radiant creature, and we love her. And I'm sorry and if she's I wearing a her. That says, that's straight out of the Thunderbirds. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take my hat off now. Aww. Yeah, I'm gonna get home ahead. This is like. <laughs> It's got, it's got it's so really hot not getting rid of this. This okay. is really hot in here. I'm yeah, yeah the it air is. conditioner. This is <laughs> difficult. <laughs> All right. Oh my. Naughty, naughty. Oh lord. Oh, I think Doctor Arnold just said I could wrap the show up. Because we're sweltering. But I think he's kind of depending on me to wrap the show up, and I feel like I have a lot of power right now. I feel like you do too. A lot of control, especially with those shoes. I could choose. I could just I should, roll the music. I should note that for the first time ever, I allowed the guests on Strange of Life to choose my footwear this evening. That's right. Yep. They had yep. three options. This is mm -hmm. what they chose. It's true. I think it's because it made me closer to their height because they're both a lot taller than I yeah. am. <laughs> but that's, you know, I kind of ruined that with my own three inch sexy, heels. Sexy shoes. There. I think Dr. Arnold wants me to say goodnight. Should I? Nope. <laughs> he doesn't like it when I eat on camera. It's no, Is that why you're doing it, sweetheart? Well. Mm -hmm. Awesome. You can oh, yeah. eat a martini. That's sexy. Or, or eat an olive out of a martini. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is making me feel funny. I feel tingly. All right. So that's because you're Megan Kate on Furbles. So everybody, <laughs> are you on Furbles right now? <laughs> I don't have a following. It's not what I want. I told you All right, I'm on Furbles before the show. Oh, everybody, guys. say good night to Adverso. At Morgan PDX, at Lockett to you, at Ms. D, at New Guy, PDX Devo, at Megan Kate, at Media Chick, at Dr. Normal, and Yo. at Cami Chaos. Thank you all for joining us and putting up with um, our poop jokes <laughs> <laughs> and our homo cam and my description of Rolanda. <laughs> Let's go up to the poop deck. <laughs> yes, we're going to go to the poop Say deck now. Say good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Bye. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Good night, John Boy. Good night.